Hello survivors and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to be doing the daily challenge. The daily challenge for today is to play the arcane weaver with the arcane staff over here and we are going to be using arcane explosion with flame wave. We do also need to banish meteor shower as well as void. So let's get into it. All right, so hopefully we can grab ourselves the arcane explosion quite early as well as flame wave and just banish those two non-essential skills. I mean, we don't really need to banish them. You could just not pick them, but banishing them actually gives us a higher chance of finding the other skills as well. But let's go and... We'll just take care of effect for now. I think it's a bit early to banish anything. When you want to banish stuff, it might be a bit later on in the game. We also need to keep two of them for Void and Meteor Shower, so... You know, there's that. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to banish this because it's here already, and we're going to grab ourselves Arcane Explosion. Nice and early to get the skill. That means we're going to find lots of upgrades for it now as well. Hopefully. Wishful thinking. Okay, I think uh, what we need to find, uh, we need to make sure that we can find ourselves uh, Bloodlust. As well as Mart, because those are two, two very useful buffs. Uh, we don't use Arcane Missile, so we'll just grab Area of Effect. And we'll grab the 100% chance of crit on a full life enemy. So that means that we are going to be insta-killing uh, mobs much later. Arcane Explosion itself. Let's just take a look over here. It deals 540 damage with Confusion and Stun. Uh, not Confusion, that's cooldown, sorry. It just stuns the enemy. And then Flame Wave causes burn. And it stuns as well, thank you. Okay, so let's grab Mart. Uh, we can re-roll. We'll grab some attack speed. <clears throat> the reason I didn't grab the crit chance there is we've already got the 100% chance for crit on full life enemies. That initial uh, one hit KO on the enemies is more, more, more important to me right now than a little bit of crit. Okay, so now we are going to go for more increased area of effect and here's our flame wave. So perfect, we have our double explosions. Would be cool if we could sync up their damage. That'd be really, really awesome. So now we are looking for meteor shower so we can banish it as well as the other buffs so we can grab them this elite uh, these little circles are quite irritating okay we'll reduce all damage increase the damage of flame wave yes please there's meteor shower uh, okay we grab Intimidating Shards. I don't think we'll be using Intimidating Shards, but we just need to pull those slots. So get, uh, you know, buffs as soon as possible. Just trying to think here what else we could run. We don't need to use any other weapons and we've banished both of the the skills that aren't allowed to be used. So that's Void and Meteor Shower. So let's see what we can do on Alexi. We're just going to kill the Elite first, obviously, because getting my way. 
I think Galaxy 4 and 5 are the ones that we would have to worry about. This first one's going to die very quickly. Definitely need Bloodlust though. Uh, the cooldown reduction and speed is very, very much sought after. Well, sorry, attack is cooldown reduction. So the attack speed and the movement speed is what it gives us. Come on. Okay, so we got ourselves eight levels there. We can't even grab this because we've still got the arcane missile. So we are going to reroll. Okay, okay, now we're increasing our crit potency. That's very important. Attack speed, crit chance will go for this time. Uh, perfect, AOE. Damage increase for arcane, perfect. And air of effect for arcane explosion. Look at that, we already got a level four. Arcane explosion. Okay, I like to just get a couple of levels up uh, to what use at once. Because then I feel like my, my choices, I don't know, I feel like there, there's better RNG when you have more level ups than if you just go one, 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 one. I know it's probably not true at all, but that's just how I feel. So that's how I like to do it. We're not going to be using channeled skills, so we are looking for a way to get rid of it. And there it is. We got Bloodlust. So perfect. We've got Bloodlust. We have Mart. We've got Arcane Explosion. And we have our Flame Wave. So we have everything set in the first four and a half minutes of the run. Hopefully we are able to do enough damage through crits later on and just damage percentage increases that we are able to kill Alexi. Alright, let's go. We're going to banish that and we're going to banish that. We'll just increase the range for now. Movement speed and attack speed. Okay, that's some nice AOE we've got going there. Which is fantastic. So these uh, challenges, they are going to be daily. So we will be, I guess, uploading Salt Stone Survivors daily now. We will be doing every challenge. And I will make sure that we succeed in every one of these challenges. Whether it takes us the whole day or not, it does not matter. So we're going to make these purely the, the actual damage of the, the skills. So we're not going to grab ourselves void damage by hits or burning or chill. That's just going to be pure arcane and pure burning damage from the actual skill itself. Alright, so here's our second Alexi part. Unfortunately, Flame Wave has quite a slow uh, attack speed. Or a high cooldown is another way of saying it. So we don't get that many burn stacks onto Alexi. So it's not something we are actually trying to achieve. We're going to hope that the Arcane Explosion can deal enough damage to just kill him. Hey, Explosion. Boom. Flame Blast. Okay, let's just do some level ups quickly. Increased durations of buffs. Yes, please. Damage. Yes, please. Laugh. Sure. Attack speed. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Let's do the attack speed <laughs> and crit potency. Okay, Lex is dead. 
think we died to burn there. Okay, we're doing 2k damage, plus minus. So 1h to 2k damage per hit. It's not the fastest of uh, hits, but at least it's got quite a decent clear range. It also looks like their cooldowns have nearly uh, become the same. So they kind of hit all in one, which is actually very nice. That's what I wanted. So there we go. We got the damage again. Perfect. Guild ball might be better than... Which one is it? Than piercing strike. I think we're going to take shield ball instead of piercing strike. Because these are magic. They're not... Are they? Nah, well, we'll keep piercing strike shot. Look at that. Luckily, we kept it. Okay, increased area of effect and increased damage. Perfect. Let's go. So now we are just going to be trying to find as much... Uh, well, maybe if we got double cast, that'd be even better. But we are looking for crit potency as well as damage percentage. Because obviously the more damage we get, the more damage we deal. Alright, that's another level. I think we're only going to land up getting another 8 or so levels. So we'll just try and keep as much XP as close to us as possible. Okay, we'll wait for the third level up and then we'll grab all the, the skills that it gives us. Uh, actually, wasn't focusing and didn't see we've got the Lexi part even. But let's see. So, let's increase that. Duration of power shout and some life. Oops. I got knocked down, but I get up again. So the skills are uh, on the same cooldown, so obviously we are double hitting enemies, which is really, really cool. So it's just like one huge explosion. Uh, spiders slow us down, but Alexi's dead anyway. All right, so two more to go. Let's see, crit potency, crit potency. Uh, do not yet, yeah, we'll do it because it reduces their armor. I don't think there's anything in the game yet that tells you, you know, the skill is magic or physical. Or at least it doesn't have any magical tags on it to say and there's no buff that gives you enemies reduced magic resistance it's only armor so i think it's safe to assume that reducing enemy armor is the same for all spells we're just going to make that assumption so i'm sure someone will let us know in the comments whether or not we're all right All right, we're up to about 4k deeps. And we already have the next Alexi spawn. That was actually very fast. Ah. I couldn't dodge. It's these slows from all these spiders. Ooh. You're like an old man. 
Okay, we got three level ups. Let's just use those quickly. So crit potency, more error effect, and luck. At least with the area of effect, we can like, sit around him over here and deal the damage, you know. It's also a pretty decent amount of damage, so we don't have to worry about not killing him. Okay, boom. Meteor storm on our faces. Okay, he should die now. And dead, and let's gather all the XP. Nice level up and heal. And let's see potency of Mart. Yes, please. And more crit potency. So let's just have a look over here. We're on 355% crit damage. We do need to maybe get like 20% more crit chance. And we're only on 75% damage multiplier or damage increase percentage wise. So we, we do need to pump up those numbers, but it just shows you that today's challenge is not so difficult. I guess Arcane Explosion is more uh, is stronger than expected. Uh, there was nothing on the challenge about not being able to use buffs. So, I don't know. Maybe the next challenge they'll say no mart or bloodlust. I think the mart, uh, I mean bloodlust helps with the attack speed though. But the mart obviously gives us a lot more damage. So maybe that one is a bit of a... A bit of a power up that shouldn't be used. But we'll see. Who knows? This is the final Lexi. And then the challenge for today will be completed. And it doesn't look like we're going to take on to kill him either. I don't know if we're going to level up again. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if we do or don't because he'll be dead, so... Dead... Half dead... Actually, time-wise, if we can like, kill this in another 20 seconds or so, uh, it might be one of my best times on this character or with this weapon. I wonder if we can just sit here and hit him. <laughs> Cheese strats, yo. Oh, the AoE I've got is huge. That's a huge AoE. Ooh. And that's it. Daily challenge complete. We actually even got another level up there. Not that we needed it. And we're up by the portal. So we finished in 14 minutes and 23 seconds. Which is the fastest victory for this weapon. Uh, unfortunately those stats are nothing to be great. To, you know. But we had quite a lot of uh, crit potency. Which helped a lot. And yeah. A little bit of damage. So we banished what we had to. And we did what we had to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.